Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Imagine this, you are applying for a new job abroad but the job advert says that you need English. It might sound like it would be impossible to have enough English in two weeks to apply for the job but according to language experts these days, it can actually be done. You can learn basic communication skills in weeks and master the basics of a foreign language in several months. Now that might sound a little bit strange, but from my experience as a teacher, I've also seen people who very quickly and very easily have mastered languages, but they tend to do things that the rest of us don't do. And we're just going to look a little bit at that. Sometimes traveling the globe for work forces you to come up with ways to master conversations in many languages. There is a story about a man called Benny Lewis. He learned seven languages, including English, Spanish, French and German. He even could make conversation in Mandarin. And he became quite a celebrity because people wanted to know what his secret was. Apparently, for Benny, his first non-native language was Spanish and that took him over a year. But then he discovered that if he wrote out scripts and carried them with him, that gave him a wonderful introduction to any other language that he wanted to learn. He even worked as a translator, translating technical engineering texts. He said the biggest barrier in the beginning is the lack of confidence. That got better and better for me, he said. And it does seem like having the courage to speak is really necessary if you have to communicate with people. Michael Geisler, who's a vice president for language schools in Middlesbury College, in Vermont, in the United States, said, a lot of people don't make progress if they don't open their mouths. If you're not willing to put your identity on the line, progress is slower. I really agree with him. The main reason I agree with him is because I've seen this again and again with my students. Everyone is terrified to speak. But it's risky, of course, because nobody likes making mistakes, except children who really don't seem to care about it. Getting back to Benny, he said that we shouldn't be afraid to take risks or make mistakes. He said when he started learning Spanish, he sounded like Tarzan, that fictional man of the movies. He would say things like, me want to go to the supermarket. That does sound a bit like Tarzan, actually. Do you remember Tarzan? I loved those Tarzan movies. Who was the actor? I think it was Johnny Wees Miller. I'm sure you can find them on YouTube with his uh, little monkey called Cheetah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I can't... (laughs) I don't think I can do a Tarzan impersonation, at least not at this time of the day. So Benny went on to say he reached the advanced stage by starting at a beginner, but his light bulb moment was when two weeks into learning Spanish, his toothbrush broke and he was able to ask for a replacement at the supermarket. He said, wherever you go, people are very patient. So, of course, Benny, with his script he used to write out, was very quick, a very quick learner. 
The man I mentioned a moment ago, the president of the colleges uh, in the US, his belief is that you should completely immerse yourself. Geisler believes that total immersion is the key to mastering any foreign language quickly. The more you jump right into it by reading, listening, using the radio, the quicker your progress will be. Students at his college are required to conduct everything, even outside of college, in the language that they're learning. He doesn't tolerate any native speakers. He doesn't want to hear anybody speaking in their first language. He runs courses in 10 languages, including French, German, Chinese, and Hebrew. This is the way they do it at the Foreign Service Institute in Washington, which trains US diplomats and US foreign affairs personnel. With teaching expertise in more than 70 languages, courses can last up to 44 weeks, with the aim of taking students to level 3, that's probably C1 or C2, very, very quickly. This means that if you're going to be an ambassador to a country on behalf of the US, you can basically learn that language in a matter of weeks simply by making sure everything that you do in your life on particular days is done in the language that you're learning. But don't think for a minute that that means that if you move to the UK, you'll have the chance to do that. I've noticed from teaching that the moment anybody goes anywhere, something happens in the mind. It's something psychic and you immediately find yourself surrounded by your own native speakers. It's kind of like an emergency distress call. I mean, I know when I lived in Barcelona, if there was even a hint of English in the street I was living on, I would have found it, really. Yes, but anyway, let's get back to what we were saying. Getting to basic conversational proficiency can be achieved in little time, just several weeks, according to experts, especially if you speak regularly. And this is a problem. Sometimes we don't allow ourselves to do that. We prefer to put our face into a book. But you need to invest not just your head, but also your heart. You could volunteer or work within the local community, and you'll have an English community somewhere, at restaurants, neighborhood functions. I know that not everywhere is American. They love that kind of thing, don't they? You know, in America, they always do voluntary work and help each other. But most of us, especially here in, here in Europe, just don't do these kind of things. In major cities across the U.S., there's language immersion meetup groups. They exist here as well. And I'm sure if you look hard enough, you'll find one in your city. And you know what? If there isn't one, why don't you make one? I think that would be very, very good. Anyway, practice makes perfect, but practice without feedback just makes perfect whatever you're practicing. If you're quite naive, you wouldn't really understand what you're doing, so you really need a language exchange partner. As you learn, be sure to consume media in the foreign language you're learning. Children's comics, for example, can be very, very good. If you have very specific goals, such as conversing with a partner or using a foreign language at work, motivation, time, can be all you need to begin to master conversations. But you have to be real. Don't expect too much too quickly. But here's some tips. Take risks and speak the language whenever you can. Read children's books and comic books in the language you're learning. Consume foreign language media. 
immerse yourself in the local culture of the language you're learning and on the internet that's very very easy make use of free foreign language podcasts and apps and whatever you do don't practice alone please get yourself a native speaker native speaker teacher native speaker language partner and lastly don't worry about mistakes we all start somewhere I remember when I was in Spain asking for a cafe blanco, a white coffee. I didn't know that the direct translation of a white coffee in English doesn't work in Spanish. In Spanish, a white coffee is called a coffee with milk. I guess that would be right because they love coffee, don't they? And food. It's one of their things. Anyway, that's all from me. So let's talk again soon. See you. Bye-bye.